Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today's video is about the gut brain connection and the purpose of this video or actually the reason why I'm making this video is because I just watched another video by James who runs a channel named Health Recovery and he he recovered from chronic fatigue and other issues like that and has a channel that he talks about the things that have helped him and basically his purpose on his channel to, is to help people recover like he has and this last video that I just watched is kind of it's kind of basically what I've been realizing and it ties into psychology and how psychology cannot stand alone and if you are studying psychology or you're just trying to basically if you're trying to think your way out of your problem or your your depression or your anxiety that's just not not really how it works and basically <laughs> if you watch I'll link the video that I'm talking about in the description but you can yeah you can check that out in the description but basically he was talking about how the body and your mind are so connected and as he began to get healthier his mind began to become so much healthier and he became less depressed and less anxious and I think this is an, a very overlooked aspect of psychology that he makes a great point about that people don't necessarily understand how much your body and what is going on chemically in your body and especially your gut and your microbiome which you, if you don't know your microbiome if you don't know what your microbiome is it's basically the balance of bacteria and other microorganisms that are living inside of your body but especially your intestinal tract and so that's like why there are things that are or that's why there are things such as probiotics and things like that but people just don't and it's not like a I'm not blaming anybody it's just there is a strong connection between how your body is functioning and how your mind is functioning and I've noticed that for me personally when my body has actually let me if you're new to my channel and you're watching this for the first time I have traumatic brain injuries and concussions that are not healing and the reason that they are not healing or I mean they are healing and I'm working on healing them but the reason that I'm getting these post concussion syndrome symptoms is because of this inflammation response that is basically sourced in my gut and so as I've been healing my gut and working with my gut and changing my diet I've had incredible shifts in just how I feel emotionally and in terms of anxiety and depression I can literally turn on and off anxiety and social anxiety and all that sort of stuff just by not eating certain foods and so I think this is something that is neglected for sure by psychology because your gut and your psychology are are super connected and like for instance if you go on a, a long run and you get that runner's high it's like what you're doing with your body is affecting your brain and so there's this thing called the vagus nerve or the vagal nerve and it connects basically your gut and your brain and I'm sure that there's other things but basically it's like there is a strong connection between your gut and your brain and what's going on in your body is going to affect your brain and so if you're if you're looking into if you're like feeling depressed and you're wondering why you're feeling depressed and you're like I know all these things and I know that I shouldn't feel depressed I'm doing all these I'm doing all these habits and I have all these good things in place that I'm doing I have these affirmations and all this stuff and if it's only taking you so far 
then you might want to look into the state of your body and the state of your gut. And it's just so huge because I can, I've made, I've been able to do so much more lately because of just changing my diet because of what's going on in my gut. And it's increased my focus and uh, being just 100% honest, I'm not there yet. And so I'm not like, <laughs> I'm not healed 100%, although I am healed somewhere in the future and I am healing. But it's just like when I, the last couple years before I got my last traumatic brain injury, I was experiencing a lot of depersonalization and a lot of anxiety and a lot of depression and I was so focused on psychology and learning about the mind and learning about thinking patterns and learning about all these different things that you can do in your mind and different strategies in that way and not saying that that's not important and not relevant and not a real influence on your state of being but if if your body is in a, in a state of like inflammation and a state of disease and even low grade chronic inflammation that you don't really, you don't really think is a serious problem, but it's like you feel anxious and all this stuff, then your psychology is going to be affected because your body affects your mind so much. And this is something that is so important for you to understand so if you're looking into psychology stuff and you're not you're not making a lot of progress or you still feel super depressed and super anxious then i really recommend start looking into lifestyle changes such as your diet probiotics antimicrobial things to correct your gut you can take stool tests although once you start researching about your gut, you can kind of realize, okay, this is probably going on, but this is just for like the beginner. Like I want you to become aware of the connection between your gut and your brain because it's so huge and it can relieve so much suffering. And when you think that, when you think that you can't, it's like when you're in this, how do I want to say this? When you're not aware of how your body affects your mind, you start to think that maybe only, maybe it's like my fault. Maybe I'm not doing something right. And it could just be that the state of your body, chemically and bacterially, that's a word, that could be significantly causing your anxiety and anxious thoughts and affecting your psychology. And so, like I mentioned before, this video was sparked by James. His uh, channel is Health Recovery, and he he makes a lot of videos talking about health stuff. And I think you should definitely check him out. And yeah, just definitely look into what I'm talking about. It may help you. Uh, I know that for me, I didn't really understand why I was still feeling so bad psychologically even though I was doing all these healthy mind and brain habits but I've just come to realizations based on the healing that I've been doing with my gut and so yeah if you like this video please give it a like or a thumbs up uh, I like to know if this helped you please comment and share your experiences in the comment section below and yeah, you can check out my journey. Uh, I have a health journal site that is in the link in the description. And I also make a little bit of music that you can also check out there. But yeah, I think I think this is huge. And so please, please consider it. And thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.